Hello everyone, it's Valerie from Stampin' with Valerie and today is Tuesday, August 18th, 2020. I hope you are ready for a fun update Tuesday. We're going to make three little cards today. Now Stampin' Up! shared this with us demonstrators and of course my printer doesn't print the exact color. I'm not sure. I gotta figure out all my settings on my new printer. Um, but we're going to use Poppy Parade and Coastal Cabana. And we're also gonna use some Memento, and then we've got some Stampin' Blends here that we're going to use to make these gorgeous cards. Now, for Stampin' Up's um, samples, they used the Tag Buffet stamp set that is on page five in the catalog. I do not have this stamp set. So we are going to use a couple of the other Christmas stamp sets that I do have. We're going to use the ornament from Christmas Gleaming, and that is the only thing we're gonna use is this little ornament from this stamp set. And then we are going to use a Merry Hello. Now this is a hostess stamp set, so you can earn this by having a party of 150 or more, and then you use some of your reward um, dollars to buy the stamp set. So let me set those aside. Let me grab some shimmery white. Now the shimmery white is very great to use when you're going to be coloring with blends, when you're going to watercolor, and it has a gorgeous shimmer to it. I don't know if you can see that in the camera when I move it like that, but we need three two inch circles, one for each card. So we're just going to punch those out. And then what I want to do is create all three of our stamped things that we need to stamp, get those done, and then we'll put the cards together at the end. So for the first card, which is this one, isn't that gorgeous? We are going to use all the stamps that come from the A Merry Hello stamp set, and we're actually gonna use that sentiment on this one. So we're gonna stamp a Merry Hello in Memento. Tuxedo Black Memento, that's not the correct stamp. Here it is. Now you're gonna laugh. This is the second time me recording this video today. I recorded it and I got all the way to the third card, had the third card almost done. And I had forgot to put on my Do Not Disturb on my phone. And so someone tried to call me, it was a spam call, and it cut my video off. So I am redoing this all for you because I love you all and I want you to be able to make these. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and open up Coastal Cabana and I'm gonna set Coastal Cabana on the right. I'm gonna move my blends out of the way and I'm gonna put Poppy Parade on the left so I don't accidentally stamp from one to the other because you don't wanna get Poppy Parade on your Coastal Cabana because it would then mess up your Coastal Cabana ink. I doubt Coastal Cabana would mess up the Poppy Parade because Poppy Parade is much darker, but I can't say that for sure. All right, so with the Merry Hello, we are gonna use these gorgeous little dots and we're gonna stamp them on the top and on the bottom of our circle. That was a little lower than I planned, but that's all right. We're going to leave it just like that. Then we're going to use this little branch. We're going to stamp it here. And then we're going to stamp it on the top left. Getting some symmetry in there. We're going to stamp the cute little Christmas tree the same way. We're just going to stamp it right here at the bottom right. And then at the top left here. Then we will take some Poppy Parade and go ahead and sponge the edges. Now, in Stampin' Up's little photo, and you'll see it on my blog, they did not sponge the edges, but I just liked the way these circles looked with the edges sponged, so I am sponging them. We're using different stamp sets, so we might as well do something different, right? Take that little Christmas tree going to stamp all over this Coastal Cabana piece, just kind of making a background for this. We've got a little pine sprig as well that we can use. And again, kind of go off the edges and on the edges and 
everywhere with that. And then some little polka dots. We'll just add these little polka dots wherever. It doesn't have to be perfect. It can be actually even over the top of something else if you want. And you can do these in any order. You can use any of the little stamps that you want to. But those are just the ones I'm going to use. So I'm going to set that aside. Wasn't that pretty quick? It goes pretty quick when you're making these cards like this, kind of when you do it, especially doing it like this in an assembly line format. So you could easily make a dozen of these Christmas cards in no time and give them to someone as a little gift. So we're gonna take that little ornament from Brightly Gleaming, get that stamped on there first. I'm gonna set that memento back out of the way. Then I'm gonna go ahead and sponge first around the edge and then we'll do the rest of the stamping. So I just need my little Coastal Cabana sponge dauber here. And now you can use the sponge daubers or you can use the Stampin' Sponges, whatever you have, whatever works best for you. I like them both. What I love about the sponge daubers is they fit right on your finger. So that's always, and I'll be honest, I get less ink on myself when I use the sponge daubers. I say that now, now I gotta be really careful not to get ink on myself, right? Okay, so we're gonna go back to that little pine sprig. And we are going to go around the whole outside of this circle. And I love that they fit really pretty perfectly around that two inch circle, don't they? So you get like seven of them and it fits pretty perfect. I just kind of touched them end to end and it worked out perfect. I'm not sure how that happened, but, but it did. So I'm going with it. All right, so one of the only colors that Stampin' Up! did not mention in their little um, post today was the Daffodil Delight Dark. And I think this is the color they used. It kind of looks like it from the photos online. And that's just to color the top of your ornament, the little hanger part. Now that that memento is dry, we can take our pool party dark and I'm just going to go across the top three or four lines and then kind of do the same at the bottom. Three or four little lines and then just fill in that little thing at the bottom. We'll take our poppy parade and I'm just gonna do two lines of poppy parade. And I'm using the writing tip, not the brush tip, because it's easier for me to control when I'm making straight lines like this. And then I can go back on the edge and fill in if I missed anything. Then we'll take that flirty flamingo dark, and I'm gonna use the brush tip for this part. And I'm gonna kind of do some circles. going to kind of blend that poppy parade and the flirty flamingo together. Isn't that adorable? I love that. Then for our sentiment on this one, we are going to use It's the Best Time of Year. And I'm going to start at the top. Then I'm gonna kind of just angle them down so my I and my B are in line with each other, so it's and best are in line with each other. And now that you have that, just fill in. It's kind of like we're just making our own little background paper again. doesn't have to be perfect, but that's basically gonna be our sentiment piece. We're just have that layered piece and it looks kind of cute, I think. I didn't even pull that other card out, but there's, how cute is that? And for our third card, we are gonna stamp, may your season be filled with magic. 
in Memento. Then we're going to use some of that Poppy Parade and we are gonna stamp this really long Christmas stocking that has those cute little Christmas trees on it onto our piece of Coastal Cabana. Then here comes the part that I think is the magic part. And I think you'll like this too, it's kind of fun. So ink up your little Christmas tree with Coastal Cabana. We're gonna stamp right over that tree then we're gonna come over here and stamp our tree onto that piece there. And look at that. That Coastal Cabana being wet has picked up some of that real red. So you've got that cute little lined Christmas tree on there now. So clean that stamp before you get Coastal Cabana again. Stamp that second one and then come over here on the left-hand side and stamp another tree. Clean it. And then just stamp that again and then I'm just going to stamp it on there so you can see it. I thought that was kind of magical and cute. So that was kind of a fun thing to add to this. Now here's a little thing that adds our little heel and toe to the stocking. So we're going to do that in Poppy Parade as well. So we add that little stitched heel and toe and then we have the top of the stocking, the cuff, kind of has some little cross stitch. And I'm gonna go right to that top stitching line just to make it fit on here. Perfect. Now that that's on there, we can go around this edge with some Poppy Parade. And we have our little piece ready. I'm just gonna set those, I'm gonna do that because I'm gonna get red on my fingers if I don't while that's drying. I'm gonna get this out of the way. We'll fold all of our cardstock pieces, all of our card bases, basically. Now these are in a note card size and I'll have all the measurements on my blog. So when you're looking at this post on Facebook, you should be able to see it on my blog. If you're on YouTube watching the video, the permalink will be there in the description. So you can go to my blog and get all the measurements to make some of these for yourself. And while you're there, subscribe to my blog if you want to. While you're on YouTube, subscribe to my channel if you'd like, I'd truly appreciate it. All right, so we'll do the first one. And I'm gonna get these inks out of the way before I stick my fingers in them, you know me. Because we are done stamping now. And our first card is gonna be horizontal. So we're just gonna take some Stamp and Seal Plus, put a little bit, <laughs> if I can get it to start. I might be out. Oh no, I still got some. Yay. Just a little bit on the corners and a little bit in the center to hold it down. You're gonna kind of put it to the left and down so you got a little bigger border around the top and the right hand side. We've got our Merry Hello. We're going to use some cord. And I'm just gonna measure it around this because we need to tie a bow. Make sure we have enough. I'm gonna cut three pieces this size. I don't know what the length is. We will just measure in a second and I will let you know what size this ribbon is. And then I'll know what size to add to my blog because I haven't even got it on my blog yet. All right, so we've got 12, about 14 inches. So about 14 inches of cord for each one. Now this cord is different than the cord that is um, from the Forever Greenery trim combo pack. 
this cord does not, I need a little bit more on this end, um, does not fray on the ends like that cord does. This is a little bit different. It's a little bit thicker. We're gonna tie a cute little bow. It's gonna be adorable. Now, as long as your piece is long enough, Tying a bow is pretty easy with this. Now, if it was a little short, trust me, you're gonna have a little problem with that. All right, so once you have your bow, just flip this over, add some dimensionals to the back of it, and those dimensionals are gonna hold that cord down, which is so fantastic. Stick that down. Now we've got that merry hello, and we're gonna have a dimensional at the top, bottom, and left. This one's gonna go just under the piece of Coastal Cabana, just a little bit, just to make sure it all fits right. Then I'm gonna put just a little bit of Stampin' Seal Plus on the edge of it to kind of hold it down so it's not popping up. And that is the first card. Isn't that adorable? Love that. All right, second card, we're gonna take that piece of Trimming the Town Designer Series paper. I always forget to stop at that 90 degree angle. I'm still getting used to this new stamp and seal. All right, have your designer series paper on a little bit of an angle. Then we're gonna put some dimensionals on the back of this. This is gonna go straight across. Then our little ornament is you know, I'm gonna kind of go over our sentiment just a little bit. Now you can see where that the blends went through. That is because they're al alcohol markers. So if you're ever doing this on a Whisper White card, you need to make sure you have a second layer of Whisper White to do that on and then add it to your card. All right, so what I'm gonna do here, actually, I'm gonna add one more dimensional. Now, the way they did their cord was a little different than how I did mine on the last one, and I'm gonna show you how I did mine because it worked out kind of cute. So I kind of, I kind of just laced it under in between those dimensionals and then for this top part, I just made a loop. And first I need to get a glue dot. Let me grab a glue dot. Just put a glue dot on the end of your take your pick tool. Once you've made that, you know where you're gonna do that loop. So I kinda want my piece sticking in right here on the right hand side. So I'm gonna stick that right to that piece of cord. I'm just gonna shove it underneath and kind of stick it. And then I've got a loop and then I've got a little tail. Now this piece is coming under here. So we're just kind of kind of loop it over. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna put a glue dot on there and just stick it under that end. And then we've got our other tail and we've got our loop and you can kind of move this a little bit. So then you have those two loops and you have that on there. Isn't that adorable? Love that. That's card number two. Card number three, we are going to take this piece and cut it in half lengthwise. And this is almost where my video stopped last time, so I'm gonna stand up and I'm gonna look and make sure I'm still recording because I'm a little paranoid right now. So those two are gonna layer over each other just a little bit. 
So we'll just put a little bit stamp and seal on the bottom, top, and center of both of these. So your first one, put over to the right and center between top and bottom. Your second one is gonna come down just a little bit and just layer over the edge of that first one. Add some dimensionals to the back of your stocking. Then we'll stick that piece kind of right over the center of these two. I'm gonna add a little bit of stamp and seal on this right hand side. I'm gonna add some dimensionals. I'm gonna kind of do center, side, top and bottom because our gold cord is going to be stuck to both of these. And we want to make sure that it stays. All right, so we're just going to loop it a couple of times. And then we're going to kind of pull one to make it a little bit bigger. Actually pull this one to make it a little bit bigger so they're both decent sized. I'm going to stick it right to that center dimensional. And I'm going to kind of stick it a little bit to that stamp and seal wherever I can, which I think it's just that one part. Then I'm going to just cut these little ends off because we don't need those poking out. You can have them poking out if you want to. I just prefer not to on this card. We're going to add this on. I want to make sure I can still see my trees on my stocking, so I'm just going to kind of bring this over to the left. Stick it down and there you have it there's our third card these turned out super adorable I'm really happy I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you check out my blog post and check out the measurements and make some of these for yourself you could easily make a dozen of these in no time and give them away as a gift now I'll probably put a, I'll definitely put a piece of whisper white on the inside for writing my um, personal message to my recipients but thank you for joining me for Update Tuesday. I hope you will join me again next week for Update Tuesday and tomorrow night for One Card Wonder Wednesday. Bye. Have a great evening.